So I thought um, I would talk a little bit, uh, I guess it's a little on topic, off topic. Um, so um, here's a little Vivitar camera that I use. Actually, I use two of them uh, for my videos while I'm writing. Um, and a friend of mine actually bought one. And he ended up contacting me later saying that he couldn't edit the format or the, the, the file type that came out of the camera. So anyway, this, this camera shoots on uh, an AVI, which is uh, a Windows-based format. Now, I use Mac as well as he uses a Mac computer. And because of that, uh, for a lot of us or a lot of people that use Macintosh computers, AVI is not completely friendly, just like possibly a QuickTime file wouldn't be overly friendly sometimes on a uh, Windows-based computer. So, we needed to figure out how to get that format from an AVI change to something else. So, um, for myself, I use Final Cut. So, Final Cut Pro 10, uh, at least the newest version, uh, on Mavericks, so OS 10.9, has no problems, at least for me, running the AVI footage. So, it inputs it just fine uh, and does a conversion of it. Now I'm not too sure if on a older operating system or if it's just because I have Final Cut installed that it's doing that. But a lot of people are using iMovie, so I figured I'd put a little video up, nice and easy way for you guys to be able to convert the, the footage of this camera or any other camera that you may have that shoots in an AVI format um, so we can get it into a working format for either Final Cut or, or iMovie. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so um, here's my computer, and I know you guys can't see this right now, but I'm going to stick uh, my micro SD card in from my camera. And if you look up here, I have an SD card in, but we're going to kind of ignore that. But if uh, we look up in that area, card is in. Um, some other software may load up just because it sees it, but here it is. There's that, that no name card right here. So this is the software we're concerned about, or sorry, the 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 card we're concerned about so if i double click on this under video you'll see there's these avis okay so these are the the format so here's here's the the clip that i'm concerned with so i just recorded this it's nothing fancy uh, 100 megs it's about a minute worth of footage so if i open this you actually see that the system you know doesn't open it now on a mac if i just spacebar click on a file and it's a file compatible with the system it should just real-time play it so it's not example if I go down here and do it on this file and I click this hit play. okay so we need to do some conversions so I've downloaded it already but we're going to download or you can download a program called handbrake and if you go to Safari and just do a search for handbrake um, you'll see it's the very first one, Handbrake, Open Source Video Converter, okay? So handbrake.fr, and you can download this right now. It has been in a point version forever. Now that it's point nine point nine, hopefully we'll get a, a version coming out shortly. Um, that's an actual one. So anyway, I am going to go up to here to my search, and there it is, Handbrake, okay? So I'm going to open that. So here's Handbrake. And nice and simple, Ambrick's going to ask us where our footage is. And I'm going to point to that card. Now, not the smartest of me, but both my cards are named no name. So I should probably change that at some point. But it's the second one. Go back to video, back to that clip. Okay. So you can see that was recorded this morning. So I'm going to open that. And if you look up here, this is where handbrake starts scanning that format and it's going to give it a name so I'm going to actually change the name of this by clicking in here and it is saving to my desktop that's fine but I'm just going to call it you know test test video test video oh my gosh test video there we go okay now on the right hand side here you may or may not see this if you don't there's a toggle presets button and we're just going to basically click that open um, since we are going into an editor, not 
taking this file and, and exporting it for a specific Apple device. Um, I always run mine in normal mode. As far as I know, uh, this means that, you know, whatever the frame rate was, whatever um, the audio quality was set to, whatever the bit rate was, it's going to try to keep that as close as possible. It's not going to convert it or compress it to match one of the pre-existing Apple device needs. We're going to let our editor deal with that later. So we're going to keep it as high as possible. So I always set mine to normal. Okay. To be honest with you, all this extra stuff, not that important to me. Why? Because again, I just need the footage to change formats. So at the very bottom here, you can make sure 1920 by 1080, which is what I shot, and it is keeping it in that that format. So that's perfect. Now remember, this shot is just over one minute, and you can see that up here when I click, it's one minute and three seconds. One angle, perfect. And I'm not going to touch anything else. Normal. Okay, on a side note, I'm going to stop for a minute. You do have the ability to say add this to a queue. So let's say I want to put all those clips in there and convert them all. I don't have to sit here and do one at a time. I can click on one, add it to queue, click on another one, add it to queue, click on another one, add it to queue. Once I have that, I can show the queue and then get the queue to write. At that point, I can go have a coffee or whatever and let it go. So anyway, one minute clip. Okay. Um, we'll just see how fast this takes. So I'm going to say start. Here she goes. Click. And if you look in the bottom, you can see it go. Now, this process, of course, will vary depending on what kind of machine you're running. So I'm running on last year's, or not this year's, um, MacBook Pro 15-inch Retina. So it's a 2.6 gigahertz quad core running 16 gigs of RAM. So you can see the ETA is dropping here. So I'm averaging about 40-ish frames per second which means I'm a little over real time, uh, or a little under real time, which means that my minute clip is probably gonna take, you know, 45-ish seconds to finish writing. Um, so if you have an hour clip that you wrote just prepared, that you're gonna drop it in there and let, and go do something else. But, and, should be finished. There you go, handbrake queue is done. My queue had one thing in it, not that big a deal. Anyway, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go up to Handbrake and quit this. And you'll see now, you can see the big difference, right? This clip actually has a live preview on it. So if I click on it, hit Space, there it is. There's my, my living room, right? This clip now is fully compatible with the Mac system. All right, so there you have it. Uh, very simply, just using that software, and it's free. Uh, we can convert that footage into you know an MP4 or, or that's compatible for for the Mac. That pro that that format should have zero problems coming into your system, and then you can choose your uh, editing software of choice. Um, that's about it. There's a, I'm sure there's other ones on there, but it's by far one of my favorites. Uh, it's by far one of the fastest ones out there, and uh, as an open source type piece of software. Um, that's free to everybody. That's always thumbs up. So there you go. Enjoy. Keep shooting. Talk to you guys later. Bye.